today we will discuss about infosys test and interview questions and answer for three to five years of experience so please stay with me till the end of this video so uh, so the first set is like tell me about yourself so in this you will be explaining about your self which includes your skills and projects and whatever written in your resume so you have to answer all those things next is explain your roles and responsibilities so in this what is your roles as a manual tester and as well as automation tester suppose as a manual you used to write test cases execute them log defect all those things for your automation you used to write or uh, test script for the same and execute it and report it to the stakeholders and share the report and all those things next question is what is the difference between explicit and implicit weight so when i say uh, explicit and implicit weight you should know the definition of that why to use and when to use and what are the expect uh, the exception that you will be getting when using implicit and explicit weight so, so for implicit we used to get no such element exception for explicit we used to get timeout exception so you should know that next is how will you handle alert like what all things you will be using for handling alert like we are using alert class to accept or dismiss or send keys to alert so if you know the code you should uh, be able to answer that then the next question is <coughs> write a program to print the occurrence of element and count the element from given array so suppose your array is 1 2 3 2 1 then you should know the answer is like 1 occur 2 times 2 occur 2 times 3 occur 1 times so you can use i mean i will be giving you hint like what all you can use you can use hash map to handle this and you can create a hash map here with integer and integer this will the number and this will the occurrence of that next question is simple program like reverse string at its place so the program would be suppose this is your string this is and you should replace or you should reverse this string so the one program could be is this if i am saying you need to replace it at its place then the answer would be for this s i h t s i so you should know like what all we can use to implement this what all challenges did you face while doing automation very important question so the challenges could be you can answer in such a way that challenges could be finding x path locator or css anything implementing weights like uh, explicit weight implicit weight or fluent weight exception that you used to get at runtime web data exception no such element exception alert no alert found exception and all those things executing on remote if you are you guys are using remote for executing your test script then you can answer that or you can i mean you might have faced some challenges while doing that next is i mean frequent changes in application so that's why you have to change your x path and blah blah so the next is So, what do you do to fetch data from the Excel? So, if you are using Apache PUI, then you should know the logic of implementing the Excel. And obviously, if you are using data driven framework, then you must be using reading data from Excel, XML, JSON or anything. So, the answer could be relatable to that. Like if you are using Excel, then he can ask you about Excel or anything. So, Apache PUI, you can create a workbook and traverse within the seat row count the number of rows count the number of column and iterate and get the correct cell and save the value of it and once you save it you can and, and uh, return the same in hash map or any list or anything else so what are the hooks and tagging in bdd cucumber so if you are using a framework as bdd then you must be using cucumber so uh, he might ask you about the hooks like what all hooks you can use before and after and why we are needing that and what all taggings we are using in cucumber when you are using cucumber you must be using hurricane so you know all the tags in that like given when then those are the keywords like uh, 
and uh, when to use background when to use this then you should know he can ask you about write an x path using period and following civil lake obviously if you have two element that h1 and h2 if you need to traverse from h1 to h2 that are on the same level then you will be using following civil lake. so for that purpose we can write x path like following hyphen sibling sibling double colon and h2 and in this way you can find so you should know the same things for preceding sibling parent and following siblings a preceding sibling used for parent and following sibling is to your next sibling so if an element is not clickable what will be your approach so this is very important question like uh, uh, what is your deb I mean the, the intention of the pro uh, interview is to check your debugging skills like uh, if element is not clickable what could be the reason so what all you can use to uh, remove this problem if element is not clickable or it is clickable but it is the your script is unable to click on it so if you so you can use synchronization you can use explicit way you can answer in such a way like uh, by using explicit way we can wait or re uh, refresh the page and do all those things and few more questions on your uh, interface oops concepts like interface and classes or abstraction so you should know when to use interface and what to do for implementing that interface and what will happen if we are not implementing all those methods of impli interface in this class and same goes with abstraction like what keyword we use to use abstract class in normal class so what is your strength so you should know i mean obviously you uh, know about your strength you can explain uh, the well reporting and ci cd pipeline so reporting you uh, in your framework you must be using some extent report or LEO report so explain uh, the same to him uh, the next is like ci cd pipeline so uh, integration to jenkins were you involved so if you used to execute your uh, test cases or test script uh, on jenkins and then you should know that the pa the process of creating the pipeline to execute test cases on different uh, grid or any remote or any docker environment so you should know i mean if you are using that you can answer in the, that way so the next is have you used uh, any, any other testing DTL or performance testing so suppose uh, if you are only using uh, functional testing then the interviewer might ask you what are the non-functional testing that uh, you have performed so I mean these things are basically uh, coming out of your resume like coming from your resume so if you are using functional testing he might ask you what are the non-functional testing that you have done or you can done so this could be your stress testing volume testing performance testing security testing so if you have used any of the tools for performance your yeah, jmeter for uh, uh, security ibm or i mean app scan or uh, web tool to intercept the url and all those things like so you can answer that so if you have cleared the first round then the second round so in the second round so obviously it will uh, be taken by the senior guy I mean that could be your manager, uh, the manager of that uh, QA team or any senior lead. Any, so he might ask you about how you rate yourself in Selenium out of five or ten. So you can explain what are your ability to do that. The next is how you handling pop up or window or iframe. So if you have uh, I mean done that in your framework, then you can answer that what to use to handle windows what to use uh, use to switch to iframe how to switch back to the parent window what are the uh, written type of get window handle so i mean these things you can answer he might if he might uh, he will ask you then you should answer that the next is <clears throat> which framers you are using in your project and why so the, the the why is very necessary very important question like obviously you are using a framework then why what is the necessity of using that like if you are using data driven or keyword driven or hybrid framework or a bdd what are the what is the necessity of using that can you do this with bdd or anything any any other framework so you should know like uh, why data driven if you are using a lot of data or if you if you if you have a lot of form that you will be filling through data 
and if you have a dv where you fetch the detail and fill it so you can answer that in that way so prepare well about this question so this is very a very important question even one of my friend one of my colleague i mean told me about this like they ask you why this framework why not this so you should know uh, how will you take a screenshot as you uh, as you are working on a framework then you must be using take screenshot when to use that like at the fail condition so obviously and what to use and where to store the uh, captured screenshot and that so next is explain your framework as uh, it is your data driven framework then you can explain like what are the uh, i mean things in your framework like if you are using page object model as a design pattern you can uh, you must know about the package different packages like uh, pages uh, test sheet your report folder your log folder your uh, um, other uh, i mean data folder where you can pick uh, or resource folder uh, or utility folder and all those things the next question obviously if you are a automation guy or a manual guy every time you will be following stlc i mean from starting from planning to writing test case or test script executing them on environment whether it's staging or uh, production or any dev environment or your automation environment so so what is the stlc so i mean you can answer about the stlc like uh, what are the phases of stlc so you can just answer that and uh, in if i talk about stlc then the phases like test planning to test design then text environment setup where you used to set up the environment for staging or like you need to execute test cases on a staging or production or what are the prerequisite of that uh, or entry criteria to set up the environment then execution test execution then defect report and control all these things so once defect report is or uh, test report is there you can share with the stakeholder so test plan what is the uh, test plan what are the i mean attributes of that test plan what is the necessity of that test plan i mean so you can answer like uh, the attributes of test plan like feature to be tested feature not to be tested what all the knowledge required identifier and all those things defect life cycle so obviously um, uh, once you execute your manual test cases or automation test cases so you have i mean raise the defect for the same if you find any any so enter will ask you about the different stages like open and when it goes to the developer and he start working or dev in progress then he can fix it and if it is a defect then he can fix it or he can want fix it so once he want fix it what will have what would be the stage and when he fix it what would be the stage uh, status of this so you can uh, answer him uh, about the defect life cycle and process to raise the defect and all those things how many projects you have done so obviously if you are a three to five year of experience you must have uh, worked on one plus projects so you can answer that what are or what was your roles and responsibility in those projects he can ask you about if you have uh, raised any critical defects or any important defect that saves the times and uh, that is being praised by your manager or as well as the teams so you can explain the same i mean the next question is explain your project flow so if you are using agile or any methodology then you can explain the same so for agile agile you must be having different meetings like uh, uh, product backlog sprint backlog and starting from sprint planning then scrum then a story demo or sprint demo then sprint retrospective and all those meetings so you should know the meaning of those meetings and what are the uh, attendees of those meetings and and while planning he can ask you what are the story points how you i mean configure the or how you rate the story points for a story or any feature so this is uh, it and thank you for watching if you have any question related to the interview questions please ping me on this channel i can surely help you or guide you to solving this problem
थैंक यू एंड प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब दी चैनल इफ यू लाइक इट थैंक यू